8.30 starts now. A South Burlington electric plane maker is looking to soar in the next few years. Thanks for joining us at 5.30. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. Beta Technologies wants to have the first FAA certified electric aircraft in the world. They tell Channel 3's Kat Villanzoni that to really take off, they need hundreds more workers. <laughs> Buzzing and whirring echoes through Beta Technologies' new production facility in South Burlington. This station over here, they're actually building the next wing. This is where their electric aircraft are born. So we're going to be having aircraft roll out the line uh, by the end of the year. That's Chief Operating Officer Blaine Newton's vision for this space. A whole lot busier, a whole lot noisier. Every one of these assembly cells will be in some have an aircraft in some state of production by the end of this year and a whole lot closer to realizing their dream of electrifying the aviation industry seven years of research and development have led up to this moment where they're finally ready to flip the switch into production we believe we'll have the first certified electric aircraft in the world he says they're on pace to have that happen next year for their fixed wing plane and about a year after that for their vertical takeoff and landing model he says because their planes are cheaper to maintain and fuel, there's an insatiable desire for them already. And we think we're going to be capacity constrained in this market, not demand constrained. We won't be able to build them fast enough. But before their sales can really take flight, they need to dot their I's and cross their T's with the regulators and themselves. What's interesting is that this wing here isn't even going to go on an aircraft. It's a test version, testing both for the FAA, but also for their manufacturing processes to make them the most efficient they can be, because the goal is to get a lot of planes coming off the line here. We expect an aircraft today to come off of it, out of this facility uh, when we're at scale, which will, will be over the next several years, and clearly we're gonna need a lot of people to help us do that. They don't use a lot of robots, so they need skilled workers to turn out prime planes. Their hiring push starts in earnest next month with a hiring day on April 14th. That's where Willa Clark will be looking for eager employees. Highly motivated, passionate, excited people is what we're looking for. She's grown up in the company, literally. Her father, Kyle Clark, is the co-founder. She's been working with them since she was a teenager. Now she wants to use her experience to recruit the manufacturers who will make Beta's electric aircraft vision become a reality. We're hoping to tap into the talent pipeline here in Vermont, and then if we need to, then look outside of the state. Clark says they can provide training the workers need in-house. She says with pay starting at $26 an hour and a slew of other benefits, they haven't had a problem finding workers yet. We're aware that that could be a concern in the future. Newton calls the skilled builders of Vermont their secret weapon and says they have no plans to jet out of the Green Mountains. Is the goal then that the, all the planes will continue to be made in Vermont? For the foreseeable future, for sure. But he says they will still use the Plattsburgh airport for finishing painting, flight testing, and delivery to customers because airspace there is less busy. In South Burlington, Cat Villianzoni, Channel 3 News. Their hiring day is April 14th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at their production facility on Da Vinci Drive in South Burlington. You are required to register in advance. You can do that and learn more about their open jobs on our website, wcax.com.